this is John again from Hangar 37. This is going to be my third installment of my Arma fleet unboxing video where I bought four, video, uh, four Arma vehicles on a March Madness special. Uh, check that video out and you'll see what kind of deal I got on this and how I achieved the pricing. Uh, I will not go into pricing on this. We're just going to go over some of the details of this particular unit. This is the Arma Typhon. Awesome looking machine. Didn't you see a beauty? Look at that. Comes in at about seven pounds without the battery. Now this is a 60 plus mile an hour vehicle. It comes with a BLX 2050 KV motor and a 150 amp ESC. That's a big ESC. Now this takes uh, a 6S, a twin 3S's running in series I believe. Or you can run a straight 6S on here. Now what I like about uh, Arma on all these vehicles that I got, they've got the tethered pins, body pins. Awesome. I don't know why all of them don't do this, to be honest with you. Uh, it's really handy. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that nice? And they've actually got wear... I don't know if you can see those. They've got wear pads in here. These striped things you see here. That's if a tire hits. That it's uh, it will not scratch through the paint from the inside. Uh, very good idea. Good uh, planning ahead because th these are going to hit certain things on here when jumping. Okay, we're going to put that aside and. Uh, uh, this is this comes with a manual which is kind of universal uh, this one is for the uh, the Typhon the Talion the Creighton and the Sentin and it's a little bit under, difficult to understand at first because they show all four for each each individual class of item they're showing information on and uh, I'm not real impressed with it um, I've seen better manuals they do give you a nice speed chart here though I hope you can see that and it tells you what battery to use and what gearing to use to get to the maximum speed on this and uh, that's going to come in handy when I want to mess around. They do give you a bigger pinion gear. And this I will put in later. I'm going to run it stock on the radar run, see what kind of speed I can get out with it. And then I'll put that uh, higher gear in and we'll see what kind of speed we get with that then. So, uh, there's a bunch of other little stuff in here. These look like battery extensions that you can put on if you want to use a, one, a straight 6S. And they also give you uh, the XT90 uh, connectors that you could put on your batteries. I'm going to use adapters, which is not the most recommended thing to do. Uh, I'll uh, I'll run them and if every if I get too hot then I might put these on my batteries but I'm gonna go ahead and do it with adapters now uh, one of the things I if you're serious about this hobby you will get yourself a ton of adapters uh, on the 2 and 3s it's pretty standard to use these because you're not talking uh, real high voltage and heat but when you get into the XT90s and you drop down to an XT60, uh, I may have a problem with these soldering points. I don't know. I, I know that it gets pretty hot. But I'm going to try them anyway. Uh, that'll be the weak link. If anything, that'll burn the solder point out and I'll, I'll just lose power. But uh, yeah, this is something that you may want to consider is getting all the different kinds of adapters you may, you may need and put them in one box. Uh, Instead of having to solder, instead of having to solder all your batteries or, or your, your connectors on the cars or planes. 
So this has got a big brushless motor in it. Very big brushless motor. A 2050 KV. And uh, it's got a steel mount. Uh, okay, and there's ball bearings in here. It's got a steel spur gear. Steel pinion gear. And a 150 amp uh, 150 amp ESC which is right here it's got a fan on it and it's got a big servo I'm not exactly sure which servo is on here for the steering well, let's see here it's an ADS 15 millimeter 15 M 15 kg servo waterproof now they say this is waterproof, but I don't know if it's waterproof or water resistant. I don't plan on submerge, submerging it totally anyway, but we'll find out. Uh, for the money that I paid on this, it was awesome. They also give you a jumper adapter here in case you want to run one battery. A straight 6S. Pretty nice. Uh, they got a torsion bar in the back, torsion bar on the front. I don't know if you can see those right here. All right, let's see. Can you see them here? Yeah, these are the torsion bars. This is very well built. Uh, I own some Praxis vehicles. And the quality is as good or better. Uh, I, as far as how well they run, I don't know yet. Uh, I'm in Wisconsin and we're having a nice storm today. So it's going to be a month before I get out and do some bashing and radar runs with this. Okay, let's fire her up. Okay, I've got a 6S. This is a Turnigy 5.060C and I've got a Dean's adapter on here so we will fire it up with that They got a nice setup. This tray just fits. This battery just fits in that tray. I'm only hooking up one strap for now uh, because I'm not going to run it. I'm just going to fire her up. And let's see. I'm going to go to my adapter box here. And there you go. It's my XT90 by my Deans. Slap that in there. And let's see, Raider, Granites. These are the four transmitters I got with my March Madness buy. Okay, Typhon. Okay, this is the uh, TTX 300, same as the Raider and the Granite. And actually the same as the Phazon, but the Phazon's got the diff brain. Uh, knob on it so uh, other than that it's the same as a TTX 300 so I uh, got the batteries in gonna fire it up nice bright LED uh, same things got the steering trim throttle trim and the steering dual rates just like all the other ones uh, not a bad little transmitter it takes four double double A's which is good doesn't take eight so, okay, put this aside. All right, gonna hook up the battery. Okay, all right. Fire up. Nice steering servo. Now 
Now you may want to adjust this steering dual rates right away because if you have it wide open, it, it, it actually moves the mount of the, it's so powerful it moves the mounting bracket of the uh, servo and that's not a good thing so kind of adjust it to where it's not uh, hitting the endpoints. Uh, okay. All right, now this is a four-wheel drive and it's pretty powerful. Whew. Lots of power there. I'm going to zoom in here and see what we can show you on that. Make sure I'm not going to hit anything. Okay. Oh, lots of power. Lots of power in this. Motor's getting a little warm. Fan, uh, ESC is fine yet. So, uh, this is high quality. Very high quality. It's got aluminum uh, oil shocks with the boots on the shafts to protect any debris from getting in there. Uh, got the uh, screw adjusted. You don't have to put spacers in there. Okay, we're going to shut this off. The switch is on the inside right next to the ESC on this one. And this one you do have to take the body off to get the battery in. So, we're going to disconnect the battery. Take my adapter out. And we will put the, the body back on. And there's three pins that hold the body here. I gotta say, I am just really impressed with this. I just hope it runs half as good as it looks. There you go. Okay, there you go, the Arma Typhon 60 plus mile an hour 6S BLX. Awesome, awesome, can't wait to get it out. So once again, this is John from Hangar 37 signing off, and I want to thank you for joining me on this little review of the uh, Arma Typhon. Watch for the uh, radar runs to commence on this, hopefully within the next month and uh, do a little bashing with it after I get my radar runs with both sets of gearing. Don't want to ruin it before I get the chance to find out how fast it is. Uh, I've watched videos on this and they are awesome. There's a video uh, of this in a quarry and uh, if I can get a link to it I'll put it in the description and uh, if you watch that you'll end up buying this thing. It's This just does amazing things. So, once again, John from Hangar 37 signing off. I wish all you drivers out there safe driving, and I hope to catch you on my next video. Thanks.